Namaste. Thank you for joining me for a little blissful movement break today. So I was actually inspired by someone special in my life who's going to be doing a plank workplace challenge. And so with that being said, I just wanted to do bring you some really fun, cool ways that you can work with the plank. Mm. So to build up to a plank, if you're not used to doing a plank, then um, after you've warmed up and stretched your shoulders and your chest a little bit, then you can come onto your elbows. And the first thing that I would recommend to do is kind of sink yourself into your shoulders for just a moment and then notice how that feels kind of crappy, not a lot of space in the neck and shoulders, and then kind of think that you're gonna lift your breastbone and rib cage through towards the back or the ceiling. And don't do it in a rigid way. Find a way to breathe through it. You can keep your palms facing up just to encourage that receptive ability to stay subtle. And then just feeling the navel, pulling in towards your spine. So from front to back. Feel the ribs gently knitting together from side to side. And then feel the crown of your head lengthening away from the tailbone. And as you exhale, all of those six directions naturally kind of hug in very gently. Nothing rigid about it. So that's one way. You can slowly transfer yourself onto the knees and the elbows. You can take this movement with the elbow underneath the hands and you can kind of reach the arm up for a little bit. Stretch the shoulders wide. If the neck bothers you, just look down. And then you can transfer gracefully and smoothly over to the other side, looking up again or looking down. You can take this movement. We can add a little bit more of a challenge by straightening the legs, placing one foot in front of the other, the top leg in front, the bottom leg in the back, elbow underneath your shoulder, lift from the torso and the ribs and lengthen up, holding. You can come down onto one knee and think length and suppleness through the body. You can come down, of course, you'll switch and you'll do that to the other side. Legs are either straight, one leg down, coming back to the center. So we can also do this with our arms straight, more like a push-up type of position. And then from here, Basically what we want to make sure happens is that with your hands, don't let all the weight sink into the palms of your hands and kind of let yourself like sag down into the movement. Lift yourself out of it like you're pushing away from the floor. Fingertips, think about the energy spreading through the palms of your hands, out through the tips of your fingertips in all directions. Elbows are soft, so we're not locking them out. They're soft. Torso is long. Gentle engagement, subtle engagement of the belly. So you can take the legs back and you can bring the hips forward. And this can be more of a modified version of your plank. You can play with it, you can lift legs, you can lift an arm and a leg. You can kind of play with that movement. You can come to the side again. Our legs can be straight. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, just the top leg can be straight. Bringing it over to the other side. Keep lengthening in all directions. That leg can be down. We can play with it here. We can do movements here with the legs. And so lots of different fun ways that we can work with our planks. And all the while, through all of these positions, turn the corners of your mouth up slightly and just notice how that makes everything feel better. Stay soft, stay subtle, and stay fluid in every aspect of your life. Always challenge yourself to grow, challenge yourself to look at things in new ways, let go of things that no longer serve you. Take an inhale, close your eyes, and gently bow your head to your own heart. And just give a quiet thanks for taking time for yourself today and finding new ways to play and play.
gently open your eyes. So much love and light to you. Thank you for joining me. Satnam, may you know your truth, may you speak your truth, and may you live and share your truth. Namaste.